So we're back in the trunk of the car again and I just wanted to point out these Stuart Warner 240A fuel pumps. Um, they are mounted on a, uh, a gusset plate or a, a reinforcing plate between the uh, rear tubes on the car that make up the supports heading out to the back bumper or the quick jacks in these cars. Uh, it's interesting that there's four holes in that plate to bolt two Stuart Warner pumps to, but you can see they're in pretty close proximity to each other and you can't actually use those four holes because the pumps are overlapping each other. So the back hole on this side actually finishes up going through the tube behind it rather than going through the plate bracket. Um, you can see this car's got some beading detail. Uh, there's some beads that have been rolled into these aluminum panels for stiffness. Um, that's something that's uh, probably specific to a car like this that was handmade as a race car. Um, similar thing, there's a, some nice metal shaping going on with the rear of the trunk floor here that's all been um, sculpted out to fit the bodywork and again all nicely uh, beaded details rolled into it. Um, quick jacks, fronts on the rear which I thought was a little funny. Um, underneath the car we're looking at the big 42 gallon comp tank. Um, you can see this has got uh, little vent holes in the corners to allow the bladder to come all the way out to the shell of the tank and this has uh, 90 degree or uh, filleted corners uh, rather than the radius ones with a butt joint on them. Uh, the rear suspension on this car is absolutely amazing. As I said, it's a computer design suspension, one of the first ones. The rear suspension is absolutely incredible in that it uh, has an inverted or an inside out lower control arm. So the point of the triangle is mounted to the chassis of the car and the uh, outside part of the triangle where it attaches to the rear upright um, leaves it with uh, requiring a fore and aft control on the motion. Uh, that was done by a tow link. Um, the tow link on these rear suspensions um, you know, makes it a very fully adjustable suspension but adjusting the tow changes the wheelbase, it changes the tow, it changes the caster, uh, and it changes the a little bit on the camber on this rear suspension.